My name is uh, Charles Forshfield, Charles Forshfield, and I work at the Media Studies Department of the University of Amsterdam. And I will be telling a little bit uh, about my new book. Um, I have um, for decades worked on visual uh, communication, um, and but since visual communication is almost always accompanied by information in other modes, such as the written language mode or the spoken language mode or music or um, uh, sound or a combination of these, it really um, makes good sense to discuss um, visual communication in combination with multimodal communication. And the most often, most extensively researched combination of modes in multimodality studies is that of static visuals and written um, and short written uh, text, texts. But what is still missing is um, a general all-encompassing theory of communication. Well, I think that the contours of such a theory already exist namely in the form of um, uh, Dan Sperber and Didri Wilson's uh, relevance theory, communication and cognition as their pioneering book published in 1986 uh, was called. Um, the thing is that, um, so, so they based their model basically in, um, in, in Grice's uh, operative principles. And as some of you may uh, recall, Grice formulated four maxims of conversation. As Perlman Wilson said, we do not need four, we only need one, namely one principle, one maxim of conversation, namely relevance. And the central claim in their book is that um, every act of communication comes with the presumption of optimal relevance to its intended audience. The thing is that their model focuses and was based uh, almost exclusively on spoken communication in a face-to-face -face, uh, in a face-to-face -face situation. One individual, Mary, typically speaking to another individual, Peter, typically, um, which meant that Mary only needed to be optimally relevant to Peter. Um, now, in my book, uh, Visual and Multimodal Communication, uh, Applying the Relevance Principle, just published by Oxford University Press, uh, I take that model as a starting point, but I had to adapt uh, their model um, uh, in, uh, in two important respects. In the first place, since visual and multimodal communication usually is mass communication, I had to explain why the bi basic idea of uh, relevance is always relevance to an individual still applies in mass communication, where a communicator or a communicating agency needs to be optimally relevant, not to one person, but to dozens or thousands or even millions um, uh, of people in the audience. Um, and uh, the, I can I can reveal to you that the notion of genre is of crucial importance uh, to explain how this is, remains possible. And the second um, a source of information uh, or, or a source of adaptation is that um, uh, each mode has its own strengths and weaknesses, its own affordances and constraints, as Gibson uh, would call it. And uh, so, so uh, as Marshall McLuhan uh, said in the 60s, the medium is the message. So once you, st you, you shift the medium, uh, the mode um, uh, of, uh, of uh, spoken uh, uh, language to the mode of uh, visuals or the combination of modes of, of, spoke, of, of visuals uh, plus written language, you have to make certain adaptations which um, I had to do that because Sperman Wilson never envisaged this use of, of their own model. So that's what I try to do uh, in, in the book. Um, uh, and let me end uh, this um, um, short um, introduction uh, to my book by saying that um, um, even though I, I believe that, that uh, uh, relevance theory is an excellent and the very best model of communication around, um, it's not yet perfect, but it's 
going to be better and better. Uh, but even though it's the best, it's still no, uh, no less, but also no more than a model. And it will always need the insights from other theories and paradigms uh, uh, in order to, 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 to carry out concrete uh, analysis of visuals and multimodal discourses. So, so relevance theory will need to be complemented uh, by insights, for instance, by semi from semiotics, um, a rhetoric, um, conceptual metaphor theory, and blending theory. So in that sense, it is a very Catholic um, um, uh, theory, I think, and very promising. Well, that's what I wanted to tell you. Th very, thank you very much for your attention. Bye.